Christian faith is set apart by its satisfying reasonableness. Um, you could you could look at the whole Bible and say, really, this is the Bible is an appeal to human thought, reason, reflection. Um, God does not deal drugs. He doesn't pass out. It's characteristic of my generation, LSD, mm-hmm. and so that we all take trips. Um, God invites us to sit down and open up this fairly difficult book and start reading and thinking. And God says, and the Bible itself says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. So the word of Christ, the discourse of Christ, the reason of Christ elicits and evokes and builds faith. So these are interwoven, not competing. There are basically two ways for us to know anything. There is uh, the inductive method, which is a matter of assembling evidences, putting together conclusions from those evidences, writing down the conclusion as a provisional and somewhat tentative assertion, but then you've got to stay open because more evidences are coming in, more research is being done, more data are always uh, arriving. So using the inductive method, and that is a valid form of knowing. Mm -hmm. It really helps the world go round. (laughs) Mm. It helps human society, human functioning. But it can never arrive at finality. In fact, people using the inductive method ought not to arrive at finality. Then they would be close-minded. The other way to know something is by faith, which does Mm. not invalidate scientific research, inductive fact-gathering, reason, ordinary cognition. But God enters into faith in a way God doesn't enter into the inductive method. God enters into faith to bring finality and certainty. There are many areas of life where the inductive method is quite sufficient it really works. It's supposed to work. But in, there are, in the ultimate issues of life, for example, how should I get ready for death? Every person on the human race, uh, in the human race uh, has, to, has to consider that. Mm-hmm. And the inductive method will not get us ready for something as final as death. Mm. So God comes to us in mercy and in grace through the gospel and awakens with us the gift, he gives us the gift of certainty, where we, we enter into an awareness, a consciousness, an assurance that we have actually landed somewhere that cannot be invalidated. It cannot unravel. And that is the, that faith cracks our hearts open to that experience of assurance. The inductive method keeps us thinking, keeps us open. We can never really land, and we're not supposed to. Hmm. So there are these two basic ways of knowing uh, that the human being um, benefits from. Hmm. So are there certain categories of decisions or certain categories of certainty that make more sense I hate to say it, I'll just say what I'm thinking, sure. that make more sense to use faith in? Like the end of life is a really great example. Um, how about the decision to... Um, the decision to um, start another product line, and that decision is happening tomorrow. Right. Like, yeah. Are those two different very types of decisions? I think they are. Okay. Yeah. Because God has not promised guidance and assurance about a new product line. Mm -hmm. (laughs) We have to figure it out. Yes. But God has promised guidance and assurance about the ultimate issues of life that are going to matter forever. Okay. 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 This is, yeah, this is helpful. So the categories of decisions, I guess, is not something that I've been hearing a lot about. Hmm. I was thinking more in terms of product line next week we're going to decide if we're going to start one or not. Um, and that decision 
thinking, you know, sort of taking a leap of faith, which common term, or running out the budgets and the numbers. Right. But, but maybe that's an incorrect way of thinking about that. If we're thinking about a new product line or anything of that nature that's so provisional and temporary, valid, mm -hmm. it really matters. Mm -hmm. But a bazillion years from today, I'm not going to be worried about it. Mm -hmm. um, even in those things, however, people, Christians in business can be thinking, help me to be honest with myself. They can pray mm -hmm. that. God cares about that. Not to give us the perfect answer, but help me be honest with myself. Help me to be honest with my colleagues. Help me to be thorough. Help me not to be lazy. Help me to be um, humble and, and not stubborn as I'm working mm -hmm. with my colleagues. And, and, and the graces of Christianity lubricate the gears of life in this world. Mm -hmm. They certainly do. Um, but when it comes to the finally demanding mysteries of life, we need God to come just tell us what's mm. coming down. Mm -hmm. And then our hearts crack open. We just receive it by faith. Mm -hmm. God has spoken. We accept it. Okay. So how should we think about the decisions that are in the categories of should we go to this school or that school or this, should we start this product line or not? How should faith inform those decisions mm -hmm. then, if at all? Well, as you're speaking, Kent, I'm thinking of James chapter 1. If anyone lacks wisdom, let him ask God, mm -hmm. who gives without making us feel small. Uh, the, really, all these considerations we're sharing together today, these are wisdom questions. These are judgment calls. And God cares about that, too. Uh, and he does help us, but he doesn't guarantee that we'll come up with infallible conclusions. Yes. Such that if they fail, we can blame God. 